you just go in here user default resets everything to default which is a saw wave and you can turn on the oscillator 2 with this knob you have the pitch for the oscillator 2 and the fine pitch so if you want to pitch it up an octave higher then you can choose different wave types as well I'm gonna go for Rhodes I'll, re I'll choose two Then there's the voicings. Then there's the stereo amount. Or the stereo spread. Then there's the detune amount. You have the phase of the unison. You have re-trigger which re-triggers the unison phase. You have noise. You have modulation. So you have different types of modulations. Then there's the octaves here. And that's it for this uh, page here. Then you have your MIDI EQ, you have the velocity to the level, so you can affect, you know, the LFO, the decay, the envelopes, resonance, different things like that. So you can map that there. After touch, pitch bending, and then you have an equalizer, an EQ that you can use here. And then you have filter, this is your main filter. So you have low pass, band pass, and high pass. And this is resonance. And then you have keyboard uh, tracking. Then you have the envelope. It can control the filter. It can control the modulation. It can control the frequency or it can control the LFO. Lots of options there. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna have it control the filter. So I'm gonna bring the filter cutoff down, make a big attack time, and then the amount is the amount that it's gonna modulate. And then you have an invert, and you this destination is just for this. This type is just for the type of filter. Then you have your LFO. You can synchronize it to the beat, to the bar, or no synchronization uh, by doing this, or you can just click here. Then the rate is the speed of the LFO, and the amount is the amount of modulation that it's doing. And you can route it to the filter, to the modulation amount, which is this, and the frequency, and then the level, which is the volume. The frequency is the pitch. And then you have different shapes for the LFO. You have a sine wave, saw wave, triangle wave, square wave. And you can invert that as well. And you have two LFOs. You have LFO 1 and then you click over here to go to LFO 2. So you can have two LFOs modulating different parameters. Same thing with the envelope. You can have two envelopes modulating different parameters. And then you have the amplitude, which is just a, like a drive type of thing, like to add extra volume. And then you have your main volume here. This is your envelope for your volume. So for example, I want this to have some release. So I'm gonna up the release here. I just wanted to stay open a little longer. I can also decrease the attack time so it opens a little faster let's modulate the filter
So there's different types. If it's a sine wave, it would sound like this. If it's a triangle, a sawtooth. I like that one because it, it, it just gives it a nice flavor. And then a square is just on and off, so it's very sharp. But this one's nice. You can also invert it. That it's, instead of going down, it's going up. I can also have it sync to the beat. Just by doing this. So now if I go into LFO 2, I can modulate the modulation amount here. or the frequency. And this can make it sound a little more analog if you want. I mean, of course, not this intensely, but you can lower it down to just very little, just to create slight modulation in the pitch. And then you can also modulate here modulation amount and then you have here the pitch which is going to be the pitch bending or pitch slide you have the frequency you turn it on you can up this to an octave Lower it to and then you have all these effects in order to activate any of these effects you have to click on glue you click glue and it'll turn it on if you move this however it will activate it so that you can hear it but as soon as you let go it turns it off so if you just want to hear what it sounds like So this adds distortion. So you just gotta be careful because the more close you get to the middle, the more intense the distortion gets. Again, you hit glue. And this will tell you uh, what it's modulating. So parameter X is modulating the distortion. Parameter Y is a filter. So over here, it's a closed filter. And then as you go over here, it opens the filter. Then you have an LFO. You can sync it to the bar or to the beat. Same thing with the shapes as this one. And then this is the speed. Turn it off by going to 50%, I believe. Yeah, 50% is turning the LFO off. Just do a little distortion there. Then you have bit crushing. Which crushes the sound. Same thing, you can apply this LFO to any of these effects. So everything stays the same. And then you have flanging. You have phasing. And a low pass filter. And you have a high pass filter. 
You have a delay. Oh, I gotta turn it on. And same thing, this is the timing of the delay. And then here it'll tell you the feedback amount is as you go this way, there's more feedback. As you go to the left, there's less feedback. And then this is a filter. If you go up, it opens up the filter. As you go down, it closes the filter. And then you have reverb. Then you have panning. And then you have a transgate. And, and that's it. That's how you use GMS. It's super easy.